This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this ABC 10 News update. The unofficial start of summer today is bringing hope to businesses trying to rebound after months of pandemic closures. Many San Diegans are able to participate in Memorial Day traditions for the first time since 2019, and that includes spending time with loved ones, many at the beach doing what they couldn't do last year. Last Memorial Day weekend was in the early months of the pandemic and beaches were only open for exercise. This year, long lines have been seen at beach restaurants. Businesses expect to be even busier this summer when conventions return to San Diego. Today is the last day for the vaccination superstation inside Remac Arena. It will be closing tomorrow. That site opened in February with the capability of administering up to 5,000 vaccinations a day. But now that case numbers are down and more San Diegans are vaccinated, the school decided to close that superstation. As you would expect on this Memorial Day, some things are closed and some city services suspended. Trash pickup delayed by one day. Parking meters are not being enforced. City offices, public buildings in Balboa Park, as well as libraries, rec centers and city pools are all closed. However, all city reservoirs, golf courses and skate parks are open. And if you're getting to head out, let's talk to Megan Perry about what you can expect. Megan. Hey, Virginia. Yes, we are seeing clearing skies across the county, and that trend will continue into the afternoon, though. Some areas along our coastline may see, only see partial clearing, a few hours of sunshine before the clouds roll back in this evening. Mid to upper 60s along our coast today, mid 70s to low 80s inland and in the mountains. In fact, some mountain areas like Julian will be in the mid 80s today. Low 100s in the deserts. Temperatures trending pretty close to average for most of the county today, though the mountain areas are 5 to 10 degrees above average already. And things are going to be warming up even more as we move into June. We're going to see some more 70s along our coast in the days ahead with more 80s inland. Virginia. Thank you so much, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Chaw.